Hello everyone and welcome back to Sony's Developer World channel. Today we have another technical tutorial for this presence board. We're going to talk about how to create your own application using this presence SDK and then how to make it run on startup. This means you won't have to wait for the NetX terminal to show up and then call for your application. It will automatically start once the board is powered up. As usual, for this video, I already went through the Getting Started Guide for this Presence SDK. If you haven't done that, I'm going to leave a link in the description of the video for both the written tutorial and the video format that we have in our channel. So the most straightforward way to create your own application is to use the Hello example as a template. So here I have this Presence SDK folder that I've cloned from GitHub. We will navigate to Presence, SDK, Apps, Examples, and then copy the hello folder. Then we paste it in the same folder and change the name to whatever we want. I'm going to be very creative here and change the name to hello2. The next step is to go into this hello2 folder that I created and replace all the hello strings in these four files with hello2. I want to be able to enable my example using the configuration script. So I'm going to go into Spresence, SDK, Configs, Examples, and then clone the Hello folder and rename it Hello2. So we also need to go inside this new folder and replace hello with hello2 in the devconfig file. This devconfig file has the configurations that are needed to run your application. As you're developing and you require more configurations, just add them to this file. Now let's open the terminal inside the SDK folder and run the make this clean command to remove the previously generated build objects. Then we configure the SDK using the path to our new example folder. And let's run the command make menu config to see if it worked. Yay! Our new example is now on the menu and you can see it has been enabled. Now we can make and flash to our board. I'm going to put the J tag on the make command so the process is faster. Now I'm going to connect my Spresence mainboard to my computer and I'm going to flash the netx.spk file to it. After flashing, we're going to connect to our mainboard through Minicom. I can type help in the Nutex shell to see the applications that are available here. We see that hello2 is here, and then I can type it to bring it up. But sometimes I don't want to have to do that. I want my application to start automatically as soon as my board is powered up. So there are two ways to do that. The first one is to change the SDK entry point. The second one is to use a startup script. So let's try the first method. If we open the configuration menu, and look for config init entry point. We can see that our default entry point is presence underscore main. We can change this entry point to our own application. The entry point will be the prog name defined in the kconfig file appended with underscore main. So I'll change presence here with hello2. Now let's save and exit. We can build and flash again to see the change in behavior. Now we see that instead of the Nutex prompt showing up, our application started automatically. 
Now before I move on to the second method, let's go back to our configuration menu and change the entry point to what it was before. Now for the second method, we're going to use a startup script. The first step is to configure my SDK to enable both my application and the startup script feature. Let's run the make command using this configuration. We also need to create a file called init.rc. Here I have already created mine and saved in the SDK folder. This script repeatedly waits 3 seconds and then calls my Hello2 application. I'll write this script to the flash memory using the flash.sh script. And then I'll write notix.spk. If we connect to the board now through Minicom, we can see that it is indeed calling Hello2 on repeat. And that's it for today's video. I hope this tutorial is helpful. Please write down in the comments what you want to see for the next tutorials. And if you have any technical questions, don't forget to visit this presence forum.